Ableton 10 Suite uh, come with a few built-in Max for Live devices that can be very useful. Let's check out the MIDI monitor. So here I have just a default patch of wavetable and some reverb, just a sine wave with reverb. And I'm gonna go under packs, core library, devices, MIDI effects, and right here under max MIDI effect, we can find the MIDI monitor. Let's load it up. Now the MIDI monitor by default, uh, the new version of MIDI monitor actually, we have an old one from the max for live Essentials pack, this one gives us a core detector. It's a very simple core detector, don't expect any 11th or 13th, but if I play a chord, give me the what chord it is. Fortunately, I don't see the seventh here. I play a, here a F minor, F major seventh, but no. Uh, but it get the basics, even some sus chords here. But not too many. Uh, for each note, we can get the note itself, the chord, if there's a chord, and velocity. Nice, and what's the root here? Haha, <laughs> that's cool. Although it's not the root. That's weird. Okay. Anyway, uh, we also have the flow, and the flow is just going to give us a stream of MIDI data that is coming in. So if I hit a note, we can see I have a note on, note off. If I move my modulation wheel, we have control, pitch bend, uh, aftertouch I don't have on this keyboard, so we can do it. And whatever CC you might be sending it, here we go, for example, control number seven. So this is a really great way. You can clear it, you can freeze the so it doesn't get, get you more uh, data. Really great way to uh, troubleshoot if you have a very complex MIDI setups, you have the built-in MIDI monitor. So a very simple core detector and a flow of the data of all the MIDI information that you can troubleshoot or just monitor. MIDI monitor.